Hey everyone, in this video here, I just wanted to show you how to create this subscribe and follow box here um, in, in your WordPress blog. Um, we could put this in the text widget in the sidebar. Now, the first thing we want to do, we're going to head over to iconfinder.com. You can actually find these icons on almost any website, but I use iconfinder.com. I just did a search for social here, and I specified I only wanted to show free results. And then I could choose from the list of icons that show up um, for the social sites. Now, if I like the look of a particular one, I could just click it, and a lot of times it'll provide me with uh, an entire set that matches that look. And a good a good size to use, I'd say, it would be like 32 by 32, 48 by 48 even works, either one. So you just download all those to your computer, and just make sure they you get ones that match and grab all the ones that you want to work with and then upload them to your server and make note of the path because we're going to be using that later in the code so once we, after we do that we we'll go to we can add some CSS now go to appearance and then if you have an edit CSS option in the menu that it's um, it, it's specific to certain themes um, if it's there use that of course and if not, you can go to Appearance Editor, and then you'll end up in the in the default style sheet. Now, it's not always best to modify this style sheet. If there is a custom one that you can use, go ahead and use that instead. Um, if you look on the far right side, you scroll all the way down, just below style sheet, you might see custom style sheet. And if that's there, use that instead. But use Edit CSS, um, the CSS editor that's built in for the theme if you have one. Now, here's all the code that's going to be used. Um, this video is going to be linking to an article where you can copy and paste that code. And this is how it sh shows up. This defines the actual box. And these are just, there's a bunch of different sections of code here that defines it each for each icon. Now, FB, for example, is for Facebook. And then we'll put in the path to the actual Facebook icon in there. And the width and the height show up in there too. So just you can just copy this chunk of code and paste it for every icon that you want to place and then just modify the name and then modify the URL for the for the image and then just make note of the class name because we're going to be using that in the HTML later so once you have all the CSS in place you can save it and then head over to appearance and then widgets and for this I just use a text widget that I put in here put the title in subscribe and follow and then here's all the code for that so now each icon will have its own paragraph here and then you can just put in the path to the actual profile that you want to link to this is my Facebook profile here and then just make sure this this class name here matches the same class that you put in for the CSS code earlier on and then again just copy and paste each chunk of code and then modify the values for each um, profile or page that you're working with and that's it and then just click save and when it's all done you'll have an icon set similar to this and that's it thanks for watching